Hi, and welcome back to Bonjero Video Academy. It's Summer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through our campaigns feature and how to organize your task list. Campaigns will allow you to filter your task list to view certain types of tasks together, such as new welcome tasks or new opt-in tasks. When creating a campaign, you can also select which team members can view it and view the analytics for the sends in that campaign only. When setting up an integration, you can also assign a campaign to that integration specifically, meaning that anytime a task comes through for that integration, it will go into that campaign. Let's hop inside Bonjero to walk through exactly how to create a campaign, how the filters for your task list and results will show, and how to assign a campaign to a native integration or a Zapier integration. When you first come into Bonjuro, click into the Campaigns tab. This will take you to the page where you can create your campaign, enter in your details such as the type of campaign, your objective, what are you trying to accomplish, and you can even make the campaign private if you only want it to be viewable by the specific team members who've been assigned to it. Once the campaign has been created, over in your task list you will see these filters, which you can select to see the tasks only for that specific campaign, now, if you click into your results, you will also see the data and analytics for that campaign, and the same goes for the replies. If you want to upload a CSV of contacts into a specific campaign or single contact, first choose the desired campaign filter, then upload the contact or CSV, and all the tasks will be created under that campaign. For adding a campaign to a specific integration, start by creating your new integration, and I'm quickly fast forwarding here through the creation of an integration, from the integrations video, if you do need a hand with that, go check that video out. In this final section on the step where it asks for a campaign, just choose the desired campaign you want the tasks going into. The same will go for the Zapier integration at the step where it asks for the desired campaign. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode about how to create a campaign. Campaigns will help your team to stay organized and be sure the tasks are visible to the people who need to see them. If it was helpful or if you did enjoy it, please give it a like and subscribe for more episodes. And as always, if you do have any questions, please leave those below in the comment section. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you all on the next episode of Bonjour Video Academy.